oldest living World War II veteran in the state of Alabama has died, or as veterans prefer to say, he's been promoted. Major John Jacobson was 106 years young. He lived an incredibly full life right up until the end. Here's News 5's Bill Riles. When the phrase living history was coined, they must have had Major John Jacobson in mind. Mr. Jack, as friends called him, spent the past few years making sure younger folks were aware of what serving one's nation means. His motto, One extra day to live is another day which you have to serve. He spent as much time as he could attending many events, including Mardi Gras parades and this one at St. Paul's Episcopal School this past October. Students there threw him a birthday party to celebrate turning 106 years young. But the real benefit were for these students who walked away with a new outlook on history and what service really is. Mr. Jack was an officer during World War II, helping to orchestrate one of the most massive military campaigns in history. He was the quartermaster officer for famed General George S. Patton during Patton's march through Europe. He tried to get all of the, all of the food and equipment ready. And uh, right there, when they went across, I was right behind the general. That's him standing right beside the general as he reviews his troops. Later, Mr. Jack would go on to establish the Army's quartermaster school. But even after the Army and the war, Jacobson was still serving. He founded the National Beef Packing Company in Liberal, Kansas, and ran the corporation for many years. It's a life of service that will not soon be matched or forgotten. God has blessed me with this uh, opportunity, and I pass it on to each of you as an ongoing blessing. Bill Riles, News 5. His family was at his side last night at his home in Point Clear when he passed. Funeral services for Major John Jacobson will be held at Arlington South, the Alabama State Veterans Memorial Cemetery at Spanish Fort, Tuesday, April 18th at 11 o'clock.